I wanted to come on here today and show you how to use the print in cut feature in Silhouette Studio to print and heat foil. However, my printer was giving me a heck of a time and so I needed to focus on getting my printer set before I could do this video. So we're going to veer off for just a little bit. We're going to work on getting our printers working properly once they are clogged up. And then the next video coming out will be the print and heat foil. So if you don't wanna miss that, make sure you interact with this video so that it shows up on your feed. You can also hit the subscribe button and that'll help bring me back to your page. Hi, I'm Brenda Lambert. I'm a TJC licensed instructor for Silhouette and I do have bad crafting days. Yesterday was one of them. And I ended up completely walking away yesterday and coming back to it today. Today is a much better day, so let's get into it. I use an Epson EcoTank 2720 for all of my regular prints and normally I have no issues with it. You can see the registration marks here are perfectly clear. Yesterday, however, when I went to print this out, the registration marks were barely there at all, and I knew that the Cameo 5 was not going to be able to read these marks accurately. I don't want you to get the wrong idea here. The Epson EcoTanks are very reliable machines. I've had this one for four years now. It's still going strong, and cleaning is really just part of maintenance. You see, I had just printed out a copy of the Silhouette Success from Startup to Stunning Creations. It is a workbook that I put together, and it's available on my website. However, I don't typically print that many pages at one time. The book is 70 pages long. I typically just do a couple prints at a time, so I think it was just an overwhelm for the printer. It was a lot. So it decided to give me just a bit of pushback, but we can fix it. You need to get to your printer settings. If you are already in Silhouette Studio, you can go up to File and down to Print. The print preview will pop up. Go ahead and click on print because this is what we're looking for. We want the printer dialog box. I have the correct printer selected here. And if I click on preferences, this box will pop up and we are going to look for maintenance. You have the option of nozzle check, head cleaning or power cleaning. I always start with a nozzle check just to make sure that that is the actual problem. The nozzle check looks like this, and if there are any dots missing, you'll be prompted to do a head cleaning. Now you can find all of these options on the printer screen as well. You'll notice down below that there is also a power cleaning option. For some reason, this option has stopped working on my printer. I don't know why. but. The power cleaning also uses a lot of ink and it fills up the waste tank very quickly. So if you can avoid doing a power cleaning, you want to avoid doing the power cleaning. If you're not in Silhouette Studio, you can go down to your task manager at the bottom, click on this little search bar here, type in printer and this printer and scanners will pop up here. Let's click on that. If you find your printer in the list, you can click on that and you will see printing preferences. That is what you wanna click on there. And then the printer dialog box pops up. Maintenance is the third tab and it's the same options, just a different way to get there. You can also find these in your computer settings. And now that we know where these settings are, let's figure out how to use them. Here is the first problematic print. After that, I did a nozzle check and you can see some of the dots are definitely missing. So we're going to do the nozzle cleaning. I did another nozzle check after the cleaning. Some more dots are missing and I attempted one more time. It still wasn't quite right. So I did a purge print and you want to set the purge print up just like this. It's four blocks of color. You want black, yellow, cyan, and magenta. It doesn't matter what order you put them in, but you want all four of those color blocks filling up the entire page like this. Now you can see that the black here printed just fine, but the magenta 
did not. I did another purge print and now there is no magenta at all. Did a nozzle check, no magenta printing. This is after a cleaning. You can see there are still some dots missing in the cyan now. So I did a purge print and the cyan has stopped working all together. I did one more purge print. No cyan. I did a nozzle check. I did a cleaning and another nozzle check. It's starting to come through. I typically only do two cleanings at a time. So I went back to purge prints. Still no cyan. I did a nozzle check and this one got real bad. So I went on to another cleaning. There's a little bit of progress. Now it is the black that seems to be clogged up. And when I did the purge print, sure enough, the black is causing me problems now. And there's this strange blob on this side. I don't know why. This is the second purge print. I went to a whole block of black at that point because it was the last one giving me a hassle. The black is still not printing properly. So I did one more cleaning, another nozzle check. This is looking much better. Last purge print. And then I ran a cleaning on the printer wheels just to make sure there was no leftover ink on those. And now everything should be good to go. Here's the final print. You can see that the registration marks came out just as they should be nice and dark and crisp lines, all of the good things. So the effort paid off and our printer is good to go. This video was done with the Epson EcoTank 2720, but many of the printers out there will use the exact same process. If you've noticed that your colors are not quite coming out right, these are the steps that you want to take to correct it. This process does use quite a bit of ink and a lot of paper. So you want to make sure that there is ink in your tanks and use the cheapest paper that you have on hand. Now I am going to go back to creating the video for the amazing bookmark that you saw at the beginning. I need you to do some printer maintenance and then create something amazing. I'll see you in the next one.